Welcome back. And we're here at Taste. And you're dry. And I'm dry. And pe oh, but no, 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 no. fix that, no, Gary. That was, that was cold enough already. I figured you would be. So I'll let you drink this People one. are going to think that we cut away and that I, you know, but I actually did it over there, right? Yeah, you did I it. I did it already. You did it. Yeah, you yeah. had the face to uh, prove it. Yeah, <laughs> that was cold. <laughs> that was cold. And thanks to, thanks to Kevin. Kevin's a great guy. He's the, you know, he's the guy who challenged me, but... He did it because, as he said, he has a personal connection to ALS with yeah. his father uh, dying from that. So uh, it was just a lot of fun to do. I think a lot of people have someone that they knew or know of that has yeah. that horrific situation yeah. to go through. And yeah. this is a great way to honor that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, speaking of honoring, that is one thing we're going to be trying to talk about today. And, th and that is the sixth. Well, I'm going to say first, too, though, oh, that, that the soup is great. And it's great to help warm me up because I was really very cold. So well, we happen to be here at Taste. Yes. You can hear all the noise and the food in the background. And uh, thank you. I'm glad you like that. Tomato basil fresh just for you, Gary. Great. But anyway, in the meantime, we are going to be honoring some great people in the community. And I think that's one of the many things that you do as a chamber is to recognize people, businesses, whatever the case may be in this community, and, and let people know all the great things that are going on. All right, I think, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. The Chamber's been around for almost 70 years. This is our 69th uh, Annual Business Awards. Uh, during the last 20 plus years, we've recognized over 178 businesses, individuals, and organizations for the work that they've done in terms of contributing to the community and making the greater East Aurora area uh, the type of community it is. That it is, and that that just doesn't include East Aurora. It includes the towns of Aurora, uh, Colden, Alma, Holland, Marilla, and Wales too. Right. So we we include businesses in there and organizations in there that contribute to the quality of life that makes East Aurora a great place to to be, live, yeah, work, is. and play. So it is. now, what is this dinner going to be made up of? Well, it's it's not a dinner. It's a reception. Okay. We we have a reception. Um, an opportunity for people to network and meet and greet, but we'll be recognizing uh, one, two, three, four, five businesses, and we'll also have an induction into the uh, our second induction yes. into the Greater East Aurora Chamber of Commerce Hall of Fame. And this is going to be really neat. The induction yeah. last year, I remember, it was phenomenal. Yeah. And this year, the inductee for the Hall of Fame is, is Bill Mr. Moog. Moog. Bill Moog, who found it was the founder of Moog Inc. here in, in Elma. Uh, we'll also be recognizing when we when our when our board looks at the selections, we look at businesses and individuals who I said have made a significant contribution to the community in terms of growth, sales, expansions, uh, significant beautification or renovation. And we think we've got some good representatives. We have uh, Andrew's Barber Parlor, who you know uh, is down by the circle there, and he's just done a great job. He started as, as a single barber. Uh, now he's moved up on, right on the face of Main Street where he was behind, and, uh, and he's really got a great presence, especially down on the West End now. He does. And he's a great businessman, he's a great barber, and uh, you know, we'll hear some other things about him. Yeah, he's a great marketer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's got a little edge to his business, and yeah, I like that. Definitely an eclectic kind yes, of place. You know, like, yeah, I like the edge thing, and I'm yeah. sure he would agree with yeah, that. Yeah, so. that's true. Then, and, and then, I mean, Joanne Ryan, that's yeah. a no-brainer for yeah. me. Joanne Ryan is uh, one of the, well, is the business teacher at the East Aurora High School, and um, she developed, I'm assuming, one of the reasons is because of this Where's Waldo um, right. Uh, right. program that she implemented this year. Yeah. And we were involved with that. I don't know if you want to talk about yeah, that. Sure. I mean, uh, Joanne brought it to our attention. Uh, is, 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 uh, uh, there were one or two other communities in the east end of the state that were doing this. And it was just an opportunity to create awareness of the businesses, but also to create awareness among young kids of the types of careers that are around them in their community. And so she did, she, her and her business class put the whole program together. Obviously the chamber's function in it was to get uh, businesses involved and support right. this. And it tied in really well with, with what we do. And she just did a great job. But she's been involved in these partnerships in developing stronger relationships between the businesses and the schools for many years. So yeah. she's, 
Kind and of I, I've had a ton of people come in and say thank you just to me. And I, yeah. all I did was give uh, Joanne's program and your program an opportunity to be exposed to the young people. And like you said, teach the young, the youth of East Aurora and the surrounding areas um, what businesses do and what they might be able to grow and do on their own. Right. Uh, you know, we've got a couple other sitters on standby. They provide uh, in-home care. It started out as babysitters with uh, Cheryl and John O'Brien. Uh, and they started in Orchard Park. And they've expanded and they have a huge network of qualified, certified people that provide babysitting and, and adult care. Um, but they established an office in Holland and they've just really done a great job in, in serving you know, the greater East Aurora community. And of course we can't forget about the University uh, Pediatric Dentistry of Toy Town right. and the Wester um, Buick GMC Cadillac of East Aurora. Man, yeah. that's a mouthful yeah. too. They're both in the same vicinity in the village, but both have done a great job in, in terms of the uh, renovations that they've done to their, well, the West Tour has done significant renovations yes. and, and worked with the village in terms of designing something that looked really nice. And, uh, and University Pediatric Dentistry was in the village already on Riley Street. They moved over to Main Street, but they just established a, a beautiful new facility and have uh, expanded their office and are employing a significant number of people more than they did when they were on Riley Street. Yes, so. both buildings and businesses are amazing. Mm -hmm. Great addition, uh, visually yeah. as well. And, and both businesses have a have a history here in the East Aurora area, and, and I think are recognized around Western New York. So, yes, so we we hope everybody can come out and join us uh, for this uh, event. Uh, it's a great time to recognize these contributions that these businesses and individuals have made. Uh, Wednesday, September 24th at the Roycroft Inn. Uh, you can contact the chamber at 652-8444 for some more information.